Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of generating additive and multiplicative patterns. This is standard 5.4c in the great state of Texas and you are using item number 30 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we need to find the table of values that does not represent this additive relationship, this additive pattern of x plus 4.5 equals y. So we are simply going to use substitution. What that means is we are going to take our x values and we are going to substitute that into this equation right here and we will see if we get the correct y value. So it looks like we've got most of our numbers 1 through 9. We might be missing 8. So let's just go ahead and start with y equals x plus 4.5. And in this case, we are going to say, let's let x equals 1. We'll start with that one, but we can also go ahead and check j at the same time. So we will say y equals 1 plus 4.5. And we could probably add that mentally. We've got, let's add the whole numbers. 1 and 4 is 5. Add the 0.5 and you've got 5.5. So we are good to go here and we are good to go here. We do have a 2, so let's check that right there. y equals x plus 4.5 x equals 2 and so we will say y equals 2 plus 4.5 we add the whole numbers 4 plus 2 that's going to be y equals 6.5 so this 2 is looking good here I do have this 2 right there is looking good so we've got some 3's let's go ahead and take a look at those 3's right there so we'll say y equals x plus 4.5, we will say x equals 3, let's look at that one, and that one. So y equals 3 plus 4.5, add the whole numbers, 3 plus 4, y equals 7.5. So we are looking good so far, which is not surprising for this particular problem. I was expecting, and it looks like we will find the answer will be somewhere near the bottom, because typically what we want is we want kids to have to work through the first few ones. It'd be too easy if it were up at the top. So let's take a look. We've got four next. And take a look at our fours right there. So I've got two fours, but I've got two totally different answers. So this looks like this is going to this is going to show me something. Y equals X plus 4.5 and we're going to say x equals 4 so y equals 4 plus 4.5 and so y equals I've got 4 and 4 that's going to make 8 8.5 8 so we are good here and that is incorrect and you know what I'll tell you what that is that looks like it sure is y equals x times 4.5. So we're going to do times 4.5. That's what you're going to get there. 4 times 4.5 gets you that 18. So that's more of a multiplicative relationship. So it looks like g is going to be off. Let's go ahead and just check just a few more. Let's see. y equals x plus 4.5. Let's say x equals 5, because I've got another one right here that I can check. I've got three of them right there. So we'll say y equals 5 plus 4.5. Add our whole numbers, 5 and 4. y equals 9.5. So this whole table is good. This table up to 6 is good. But yeah, that 22.5 is way off. So we can definitely say that uh, G is going to be our answer.